You are right, you are right, you are right, you are right, you are right. Nanuro, Oye Kero, Nanuro, Lumo, Nanuro, Oye Kero, Nanuro, Lumo. Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, say very well, say very well, say very well, yes, 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 something is happening, something is happening, something is happening, yes, yes, blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. There is power in that part there. There is power. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 Go. 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 Every stranger, your time is up. The blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Oh, 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 the blood of Jesus. Clap your hands. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Continue. The blood of Jesus. Oh, 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 the blood of Jesus, the blood. Uh. My name is Chinon San, but I don't talk with demons. I don't discuss with demons here. Every demon, I am sent to cast you out. Every spirit that is not of God, I am sent to cast you out. We are not come to discuss. I don't have discussion, no time to discuss. I don't have all the time. You are going to pray. I want us to sing that song again. If that demon is stronger than Jesus, let them stay. I did not come here tonight with my name, Nonsa Nebo. I came in the name of Jesus Christ. The name above every other name. And at the mention of that name, every knee must bow. This young man, God is going to use him. And what the devil will do first is to possess him with the idol of his father's house. But, but by connecting to Elijah faith, that demon will go. Amen. Are you ready? Pick your oil. Pick your oil. Pick your oil. Pick your oil. You will leave him. Oh. You will leave him. You will leave him. I don't want to know you. I don't want to know. What I want is to go. Allow the young man to serve God. He cannot serve the Shirai. Oh, wash. Oh, wash. Lie, lie. They don't feed you. I'm not be here. Pick your deliverance oil. He said, Lie. He said, Lie. He said, Lie. You, if I now allow him to come to church, if you want me to serve you, why you let him come to church? How much give him? How much you give him? Demon, they give five million naira. You they give chicken. Hi, friend. Come on there. What in the cloth to do now? Leave the cloth. Oh, God. Is this guy from Umunze? Is this one that came from Umunze? 
from my town. Jesus power super Jesus power Jesus power Jesus power super power I power power Power, powerless power, power. I say Jesus power, Jesus power, oh Jesus power, oh Jesus power. Drop your oil on the floor. Drop your oil on the floor. Fire. Your hands, your hands, your hands. He no longer tells you. Tell 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 you. Oh yeah, are you ready to go? Everyone drop your oil on the floor. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Not to go and come back. Shabi say no one go before. Are you ready to go? I declare the ground where you are lying down fire. He no allow it to do. Everybody release fire, release fire, fire, release fire, 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 release fire, release fire, 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 what is the name of the shrine? What is the name of the shrine? You better talk or we'll give you more fire. What is the name of the shrine? This tie where you're sitting has been consecrated for deliverance. Yes, sir. What is the name of the shrine? What is the name? Eh? Arusindiche. Odigike. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pick your oil. 
Are you seeing his eyes? Red. Father, we declare this young man free. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For bringing him here for this deliverance. Yes, Amen. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to Okudere to talk. Let no demon speak in the name of Jesus. Okudere, what is your name? Okudere Onye. Okudere Onye. Eh? 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 Uguaro. Okay. Can you name me now? Oh, Maho. Can you name me now? Jesus. Fire, fire. Small, small fire. It's inside your body. How did he enter? You don't know. You don't know. What do you normally feel before? I will confess. Oh, you confess fast, fast. I don't have time. When I was 12 years, I do used to pray for people. You, do, you used to pray for people? Yes, I used to pray for people. And the prayer used to work. At that time, my uncle, my uncle called me on his room. He told me, Obama, Obama, he said, my uncle, my uncle, so so me till I die. And I tell you that I don't believe in such thing at the time. After that, after that time, when I finished my primary school in Weber Elementary School, Muse, when I finished my primary school, I started getting have many attacks. You start having an attack. Many of them. This attack, I will just say, it's just it's like somebody will be struggling me to death. Somebody will be struggling me to death, but I don't know what to do again. I'll be shouting, 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 shouting. Me and me physical. He did my in my brother's house a day before yesterday. Even he did on Friday, on Thursday, and the thing that returned repeat on, on Friday. Somebody will like somebody will start strangling you. Yes, on, on Thursday only we are cooking in the kitchen. Then as we are cooking, I, I, I was like, let me go to the toilet. And I go to the toilet, finish. I want to open the door of the room and come out. It's just like somebody touched me on my back. Then let me talk like this. The thing hold me on my neck. I can't talk again, I can't shout. I can't talk again, I can't shout. I can't talk again, I can't shout. I can't, I can't even breathe again. It's just like I'm dying. It's just like I'm dying. Down. Unfortunately, I get myself. And then when I get myself, I get myself lying down on the floor. I get myself. You don't know how you fall down. I don't know. I get myself lying down on the floor. Then I see my brother with all you. Uh, with all you and uh, he says it's Rema water. With oil okay. and they use water. oil and Rema water and yes. pray for you. Yes. So now what are you feeling? Fire in my body. Small, small fire. Yes. No, I want the fire to increase. No. She increase. Praise God. Is this his first time bringing him here? It is his first time. Father, thank you. This is my user, Anki. What happened if I, what happened to him? Day before yesterday. I was upstairs with my new baby, and my mother-in-law called me that she doesn't know what is happening to Okudile, that she's scared. Uh, he told my wife when he came that he's scared of the spirit following him 
to come after me. That he has gone to many places. When he go, the person's business will fall. So I called him to my room that day. I told him that I am not those people that my business will not fall. Of course. That the last thing that spirit did is to bring you to my house. When did he come? It's not up to two months now. Now, I went down. I saw him strangling himself as if he's epileptic. But it's not epileptic because there is no foam. So I used rema water and anointing water. As I started rubbing him, he came calm, but the spirit was there. I kept just doing exactly as you are doing. You must leave. This is not your temple. The spirit started talking to me. possible. In Jesus' name, that I pour him out water. He closed his mouth. Then I forced the anointing oil. I missed the two of them inside his ear and inside his mouth. And immediately, I hit his head. He fell down. I called him up he answered, but initially he wasn't answering. Then, yesterday morning, being Friday morning, again, he was complaining. He started hitting his ear. He can't hear. He got deaf. He continued hitting his ear. I came out again with the same rima water and anointing oil. We prayed, prayed, prayed. The spirit spoke again. I poured it inside his ear. We continued praying. Even my sister in my house had to make, make video of the of the Deliverance. scenario, what happened. I poured the rima water and the anointing oil in his ear again, and he got himself. He was deaf for at least 30 minutes. Couldn't hear anything. He couldn't hear. He couldn't hear. Church, clap your hands for Jesus. <laughs> Father, thank you. Whenever God wants to deliver people, he knows how to direct them. Yes, sir. Did you hear that? He has been with many people and their business will collapse. Do you know when I remember when I was talking about covenant? Yes, sir. I can enter into covenant with people. That's why you must be careful. Okay, before I come back to him so that we don't spend all the time here. Father, thank you for delivering your people. Thank you for setting them free. I give you all the praise. The same power that pushed them down, make them whole. Let it not be falling down. Let it not be shouting. Let it not be a religious act. Let it be a deliverance. Now, whatever spirit that left here will not return back again. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Clap your hands. Look where they stand. Give me your hand. Where you stand. Can you kill a chineke? Oh, Mary. Kill a ya. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Bring down your head. You are a child of God. Demon has no power over you. This is my hanky. Start using it as your sponge. Take. Go. If I go and buy more shit for it, don't cry. It's well. It's well. It's well. Somebody celebrate Jesus for this young man. Oh, Mary, It's not me, it's not on so it's oh, Jesus. Yeah, me, 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 me. Celebrate him. Celebrate the healer. Oh, yeah, no, Celebrate the deliverer. Wisdom, help me oh, with yeah, white no, shirt. That's one native, my native, white one. Bring it. Oh Mary. Again, oh, Mary, hey. say 
church tomorrow. Elijah said, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. My name is Onyebuchi Ifa Emmanuel. And with me here is Okudili. I don't know his surname. His surname is Inka. Inka. Yeah. Your testimony. Uh, before I start, I want to plead with you. It will not be a summary because I've not testified for more than 20 years. And for me to be here, I had an encounter, so I have to detail it properly. Praise the Lord. First of all, I want to thank God for the grace of God in this ministry. I want to thank God for the grace of God upon Prophet Chinonsu and the person, The person speaking is, is he cousin, right? It's my cousin brother. First cousin, my mother's younger brother. My mother's younger brother. The pe my mother's younger brother's son, yes. And this young man also lived with me and finished his secondary school in my house. In my house. Go on, go on. Now, it's one thing to come to Elijah Faith, and it is another thing to allow the grace in this church being to you. Because when the grace that is in this ministry enters you, that's when you will have full confidence. The same confidence that is making me stand here today. Praise the Lord. This young man, Okudili, he's my worker. He came to me when I traveled for my dad's burial. He told me his encounter with my dad. My dad got a place he will work. But he went there to meet the people. For my dad to go with him now, he called my dad. My dad was at the hospital. He told him when he comes back, they will go together. After all, my dad died. After telling me, he asked me to help him to look for something he will be doing. I said, okay. When I got to Lagos, I was confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help him. Then I made up my mind that I'll bring him to stay with me and work with me. And I called my mom. I told my mom, this is my decision. We are this young man. Do you know him? My mom said he doesn't know. She doesn't know, but she asked. She asked questions. She called me. She said she's not getting good reports from people that they say the young man's life is like this. After weeks, I decided and said he will come up. I called my mom again. I said, I will take any challenge I see. Let him come up. I called him. 12 midnight one day, I told him, prepare, go to the park. I will call the park people. I will send money to them. Carry your bag. Are you ready to come to Lagos? He said, I'm ready, sir. I'm ready now, now. He said, go to the park. Enter the bus and start coming to Lagos. He got to Lagos. He's communicating with my wife more than I do, more than he do with me. My wife, I came back from work one day. My wife came to me and said, 
I said, no, he hasn't told me anything. He said, that boy, I think there are things in his family that he said a lot of things. That he said that Agumalia in his own language, that they said he will serve one useless Sherai. And the thing has been disturbing him, that he has gone for work. He has gone to work with so many people. He even went to one pastor to live with him in the north and the pastor's business collapsed that the pastor didn't even have money for transport to send him back that he had to borrow money and send him back to the village and when he got back the pastor bounced back he told my wife a lot are, of are things. you following he went to stay with a pastor go back a little bit his father promised to help him and that the process, when the help supposed to come, the man died. Now, to agriculture, the reason why you are under attack is not just you. Some people that need to be helped by you. Now, a pastor innocently picked him to live with him. The pastor's business and everything went down. No transport to send him back to his father's house or to where he came from. Pastor has to borrow transport. And as soon as he left pastor's house, pastor's bounce back. Business start working again. Reason so that you will learn. Go on. Then, when he was discussing with my wife, he, he was crying. He told my wife that he's scared. He doesn't want this thing to affect me. He doesn't want it to affect my business. That he thinks he needs a very strong man of God. My wife told him, don't you know your guy? That is me. That your guy is a strong man of God. <laughs> my wife came up my wife was telling me these things when he said strong man of God I looked at myself but I have confidence I know I am not man of God because I know myself but I have confidence because I know my foundation I know the God of this commission <laughs> then immediately my wife finished telling me that thing I called him to my room he came I told him what did you tell my wife he wanted to talk. I cut him short. I told him, just know that I am not that pastor. That I am different. That the spirit or whatever shrine that is affecting you, in my own words, I said, it is too small. That that spirit is too small. That the worst mistake the spirit made is to allow you to come to my house. Them that do know their God. They shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Say amen. Amen. I only told him to be focused that God will make him great. That is the only thing. He left my room. I never knew the challenges he has been having. Not until on Wednesday. I, was, I didn't go out that day. I was on my bed. My mother-in-law was with me. She was in the kitchen cooking. And he was helping my mother-in-law cook. All of a sudden, he wants to go to the toilet. Then he went there. It's, he started having an attack as if it's epilepsy. But it's not epilepsy because there was no foam coming out. He was on the floor. He couldn't breathe. He was strangling himself. His eyes were coming out red. He could not breathe. My mother-in-law rushed up in fear. No, he fine, he fine. What the one I came out I, 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 I say, what is it? I wore my trouser. Because of the knowledge I had, on my fridge, I have a Rema water bottle there. I took it. I went to my baby room. I have, I'll call it an olive oil because it was just for normal baby cleansing. I brought it. I went down, look at the young man strangling himself. The first song, that came to me is, you are too faithful to fail me, God. I sang that song. I began to pray. When I was praying, I was confused. I was thinking, is this medically? Is this spiritual? But when I was thinking, the spirit was coming upon me. I kept praying and rubbing. I started rubbing the rima water. I removed his hand and he came still. But the spirit was there. I kept praying. I kept praying. I kept praying. I say, you don't have power over this boy. Leave this body. I don't even know that the spirit was inside. 
all of a sudden, the spirit started talking to me. In Ibu, for me to be here to say it is something that I witnessed. I've been saying it, seeing it, but personally, I had the encounter. I don't want to know who you are. That's what I know is that God is greater than you. And I command you in the name of Jesus, leave this body. He spoke again and said, no, 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 no. In English, this was his words in Hebrew. In English, is, that is the person that reincarnated him. I said, nobody reincarnated him, that God created him. And only God has power over his life. Then, I now missed the combined forces of Rema water. I poured the Rema water into the anointing oil. It became anointed oil. Because before it was olive oil. I now tried to pour into his mouth. His mouth was locked. I said, okay. I poured it inside his ear. He was trying to close his ear. I turned the other one. I poured it. His mouth opened. I poured it inside his mouth. I said, I count three. Leave this one, two, three. The boy like he strangled himself and he was calm. I now called his name, Okudeli. He answered me. He started crying. I said, give me your hand. He gave me his hand. I drew him up. I told him, you are safe. Say, I am safe. He said, I am safe. I told him to confess Jesus. He confessed. As if I told him this attack will not come again. The next day, being on Thursday, just about the same hour, they came again. This okay. My wife came back that day. I narrated what happened. My wife seemed me the show. No, not her for me, her form. I said, if he was forming it, I will know that God is faithful. Then that day, that morning, my wife was around. He started in her presence. <laughs> she now ran into my room. She said, Baby, Oku Dile Bidogo was on. <laughs> I rushed out. The boy was sitting in his ear. They struck him deaf. I can't hear. I can't hear. I can't hear. He first of all rushed to the, my other boy. And my other boy told him to go inside, that he's doing something. He came up. He was banging his ear like this. He can't hear. He can't hear. My anointing oil and my rhema was still with me. I brought it out again. We started praying. I started praying. My sister started making video of what was happening. I told the spirit, I said, you can only be here if you are greater than God. But if God is greater than you, leave this body. I held him as if he was trying to vomit something. He couldn't. I now held his mouth and shouted Jesus in his ear. And it was as if his ear opened. Because that period, if I called him, he wouldn't hear. I called him Oku Dele, he had. Talk to me. Are you hearing me? He said, yes, he can hear. What happened to you? He said, he was doing something. All of a sudden, it was like something hit him on the ear. And he stopped hearing. I said, God is faithful. And God has saved you. I called Prof. So, evil spirit is really in existence. He said, what? yes. He said, yes. What happened? I narrated it, and I told him I was coming with him on Friday. On Friday, rain, the, the type of rain that fell that day. I know, personally, if it was normal me, it's not possible that I'll come to church that day. But I said, if you like, even if you are falling, I will enter the rain, I'll come to church. From where I was, the rain delayed. I came back late. I still made it. I took him. When it was like, I can't go early. I told him, live with my neighbor that is going to church. I'm coming. They left. A few minutes after, I came to church. He was sitting in front of here. When the prophets mounted the altar, we were praying. It was, coincidentally, it was deliverance night. And in my mind, I said, this spirit, ni la potago ngwegi, tata you have exposed yourself. When prayers was going on and a prayer point was raised, he fell under power and it was acting that night. In fact, Friday night was for him. 
Friday night was for him. I want to thank the Lord that gave me the courage through the experience I've had in this ministry. Because if it was not the experience, if I wasn't confident, the spirit in this ministry has removed fear from my face. Whatever is happening, I have the courage. When my wife is worried and she talks to me, I will say, no, nothing will happen. And that is the courage I learned from here. That is why Can you clap your hands for Jesus? If I, why haven't you testified since 20 years? Is it that God is not giving you testimony? I'm coming back for testimony. My testimony is longer than this service. I'm very soon. I'm coming. That day. Church, clap Jesus. your hands for Jesus, please. I decree this healing, deliverance, permanent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Face the altar, please. I decree this deliverance is permanent. Amen. This cloth is my cloth. Yes, sir. And from this day henceforth, God's protection rests upon me. Amen. Amen. The Bible says affliction will not rise for a second time. Yes, sir. Anu rumo tu olu si onwa gaya di Anu rumo tu olu si onwa gaya di kwa so Onwa gaya di kwa so Onwa gaya di kwa so Ale se chine ke meri wo e kwensu onwa and the remote to know, 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 and Father, I declare healing, deliverance permanent. This spirit is gone. Amen. And will never come back again. Amen. I declare every door permanently closed. Amen. No returning back of this demon. Amen. O Kudre, I declare you preserved. Amen. The purpose and the plan of God over your life will come to manifestation. Amen. It is done. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.